Hi and welcome. Here is the wonderful piece, The Egyptian Level, by Kevin Wooding. It's on the ABRSM Grade 1 syllabus for 2019 and 2020. It's piece C3. I'm going to play it first of all and then talk you through some of the things that I'm thinking about. And I know James is playing this piece. Good luck with this one, James. It creates a wonderful sound, doesn't it? And there's a poem in the ABRSM book that I'm not going to reread now, but you must read it if you're learning this piece. And it sets the scene magically for us. And the scale that um, is used here creates such an atmosphere, doesn't it? And at the very beginning of this piece, it needs to be quite loud and a little, little bit scary, especially if you've read the poem. And I'm playing very legato. I'm making sure I'm linking up these notes in the right hand and holding on to that chord in the left. Holding on to that whilst I do the... Oh, very ominous sounding. Then the next little phrase. And then off it goes again exactly the same as before, with a slightly lower phrase in the right hand. Again, really smooth, dying away slightly at the end of that phrase. And these wedges and an F, so an accent at the beginning, same again. And you may want to just practice that movement. You've gone from that position to the same notes but but further down the piano and that is quite a tricky tricky movement you could practice for example going from the G G from the A could I do it walking down the scale good way of really getting getting your fingers round those patterns of notes. Let's go from bar nine. Accent. Staccato. Staccato. That's quite a difficult passage of the thumb there, isn't it? Keeping it all really smooth and even. Poco rit. Just slow down a little bit. And dying away. Now, when do I let go of that chord? I think as I play the C sharp. So those last two notes are on their own. And then as I press this one with an accent, I'm also putting the pedal down and I'm counting those two beats at the original speed. So let me go from here. And I'm going to go, go slowly for now. I'm going to count the beats. One, two, three, four, one, slowing, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So in bar 13, I counted them back at the original speed. And in bar 12 and in bar 14, I stretched the timing. I slowed down a little bit. Let's go from bar 12. Um, no, let's go from two bars. Let's go from bar 11. And 
and then go and grab these notes. Often I find it useful just to know really what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for the A there with my fifth finger. I'm really quiet and held. And in fact, I would probably keep my fingers on those too. But we're holding all of those three bars with the pedal. Um, it's a great fun piece. Have you noticed how these notes, let me put them up here, are great for making spooky music up. If I put the same bass that Kevin Wooding has given us, I'm just gonna wobble from one to the other. some wonderful sounds there perhaps just holding on to that and another great one that's sort of a major isn't it with a flattened second note another one would be a minor with a raised fourth Ooh, if you're feeling brave very dark and mysterious and that is the scale that a composer Eric Satie he loved very much that one and he would put an F sharp in as well so have a go at exploring those two scales we've got the major with a flattened second or the minor with a raised fourth let's put it into C can, can we do that what did we say? We said a major with a flattened second. Okay, C. Mm. And the other one is the minor with a raised fourth. Okay, let's try that. Oh. It's very ominous. You think something dreadful is going to happen. Have fun exploring those scales. Any questions, do come back to me. Bye-bye for now.